The eclipse was total, the turnout not exactly as much. After Monday's weather forecast took a turn for the cloudy, the question became whether or not Austin would see the massive turnout expected for the total solar eclipse. The estimates are still early and the stories are mostly anecdotal, but the signs signal the turnout was there, but not as massive as once predicted. Folks stayed home. Uh, businesses probably went remote. Our schools were uh, working with parents. I think the weather did have a play, uh, but I also think the local, uh, the local population's behavior impacted that. Maybe we didn't see it, but uh, businesses taking time off or doing things like that helped. Again, these are early estimates, but Visit Austin, the city's tourism bureau, estimates an average of 76% of hotel rooms were booked from Saturday through Tuesday. We've only heard from maybe two or three that they saw a few reservation cancellations but it wasn't enough to significantly impact their occupancy or the reports that we're seeing. And some areas did see post-eclipse traffic. This photo from the Travis County Commissioner's Court meeting shows what Highway 71 looked like, but officials say that traffic was moving. In another testament to eclipse travel, Austin Bergstrom International Airport says they're estimating some 36,000 travelers to fly out of Austin today. Makes that in with the amount of out-of-town travelers and, you know, people who rented uh, cars, you know, to go out to different parts of Texas to view the eclipse. Um, that means a pretty busy day for us. We'll know more when more organizations release better data in the coming days on how many people came to the capital city. The early estimates indicate Austin's total eclipse wasn't a total mess. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.